Hey y'all, good morning. Um, I just wanted to do a quick message. Uh, the other night, I felt a like a shift in the energy and the just the the time and the hour that we're in. It's hard to explain or put into words, but even last night, I I could feel it in. Through prayer last night, praying for people, the Lord just showed me something through the Holy Spirit that, um, and, and I am not remiss to think that anything that I say or do is from me. I've made that very clear. Everything that I have done and said has been not of my own accord because I pray all the time that, that I, I get it right. <clears throat> I was convicted from the Father to, to make even start posting videos because I pray to remove myself out of the way completely so that it is, it is Him, that He gets the glory and that it, you know, all the glory goes to Him. Um, you know, the world thinks right now that time is just going to continue to go on. But I kept hearing you know, I am not slack in my promise. You know, just as in the days of Noah, people were eating and drinking. And I'm praying for everybody that every day we're just turning our heart to God, laying our heart down at the foot of his throne so that your heart stays with him. Um, I don't really talk about the rapture a lot, but something has changed. I know a lot of people are having dreams about the rapture, but that's not it. It's different. Almost like the, the faithful in Jesus have completely re decided that, the, I mean, we're ready to go home. Without a doubt. I did a prayer the other night with the kids and my wife that, Lord, we're, our bags are packed. At the coming of your, you know, the hour of your coming, we, we're ready to go to, to be called out of this world. But before we get raptured, I mean, we're, are we not already called out of the world to walk it differently? And to follow in the footsteps, to pick up our cross daily? I've been, I've felt called to do that because I don't want to test God. I don't want to use his grace as justification to sin. And the Lord did show me that he was very un, unpleased that there are people in the world right now, Christians, who are using the grace and the mercy of the Father to justify the sin in their life because they do sin, they willingly do it, and then they say, but I'm saved. I'm covered by the blood of the Lamb. And that is testing God. And the Lord, I just saw his arms crossed and I didn't see his face, I just knew the emotion. He was very disappointed. You know, that's like throwing yourself off a mountain because you know God can send his angels to save you. But God never told you he would in that sense. And I have a feeling that, that a lot of that is the tricks of the evil one. To trick people into continue sinning because the evil one will say, well, don't worry, you're covered by grace and by the blood of the Lamb, so you're good. And the, the Lord showed me that. We still have free will to choose our path. And I have chosen, and a lot, and so many people have chosen to give their hearts to, to God. And when you have true faith in, the, in Jesus, Yeshua compels you to do that. And I'm praying that everyone doesn't have hard hearts. And if you're watching this and you don't, then I, amen. But there are people out there that need to hear. 
that are walking in just bogged down in sin, just turn your heart to him. He, he will forgive you immediately. You are redeemed that the Father judges the heart. So which way is it? You know, our Father in heaven is not one to confuse or, you know, I just know he, the Lord just showed me do not test him. And he, and he was pleading with me because the hour is that late. And that's why he was trying to get that across. Not just to me, to everybody. Um, I was led to some scripture about how the Pharisees tested Jesus and asked him what authority he did his, his healing and all his, his preaching. What authority did he do it by? And Jesus asked him, okay, well, I'll ask you a question. Did John baptize of God or of man? And they wouldn't answer him. And Jesus said, basically, because you have tested me and will not answer, I will not answer you. And, and I, that's after he showed me people using the grace of the Father to justify their, their life, what they are currently doing in their lives. We should want to be better. It's not easy. I know that. We, we can't be perfect in this world. It's impossible. It's a tough message. <laughs> it's a tough message, but it's truth. I promise that I promise the Lord I would share truth, no matter how hard, how hard it was. People needed to hear it, and this is just another example of abusing the grace of the Father, so that people can be wicked. I pray that we step out of that and we come out of the world completely because I'm ready to go home. I don't know about y'all. I'm ready to go home. I'm I'm not counting the days. I'm still doing work, but my heart is not in my work the way it used to be because I feel like the hour's so late. I put, I put so much energy into other things, praying for other people, praying for you guys, you know, asking the Father to, to keep sifting my heart you know, because I, I am to be so grateful of that gift is powerful. It compels you to want to do better. I'll say that. Love you guys. We'll talk later.